All right. So, what is that? <laughs> it's a landscape. <laughs> you, you were like, Derek, it's a painting. <laughs> it's a painting on linen this time, not wood. <laughs> on what this time? Linen. Okay. Linen. All yeah. right. Like canvas. And it's got a cool wooden frame. Yep. It has mm -hmm. a has a handmade frame. Handmade, of course. Of course. Everything's of course. handmade, hand yeah. stretched, all the good stuff. So what's it called? It's called Honey Hole. Honey Hole. Okay. I don't know why it repeated it that way. <laughs> <laughs> hole as in like a whole piece or a hole like in the ground? Well, you know what a honey well, hole is, right? Now that you say it that way, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a hole, like a whole hole. So it's spelled H-O-L-E. It's like a place okay. full of you know, honey is sweet. Or <laughs> it's like this, the sweet spot you go that nobody else knows about. It's your honey hole. Ooh, it's a place okay. you return to again and again. Is that a Southern saying? I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Is <laughs> it like lollygagging? Maybe. The, the things that are only said in the South? It, it could be. Okay. It could be a Southern saying. So this is a honey hole. So this is a, this is a happy place. Exactly. Right. For whoever is attracted to it and is comfortable there. Yeah. Right. So, so the previous piece, it was built mostly from my imagination mm -hmm. or appropriation, a mixture of all those things. This is a real place that I went to. Okay. So the starting point was very different. Um, I, it's Arkabutla Lake for anyone who's local. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a big lake that has several different boat launches and areas to swim. Oh, there's a couple areas to swim, I believe, too. But yeah, it's a massive lake near Hernando and uh, down to Tate County, right? Coldwater, right. Mississippi. But, uh, um, but yeah, so what part, and this is super local. Most audience doesn't know what <laughs> we're talking about, but that's fine. I'm interested in what, what where on Ocker Butler was this? What area? So... So I, I, I love the water. I love lakes. I grew mm -hmm. up around them. I like to kayak okay. in the summer times. Mm -hmm. So I found this honey hole spot when I was putting my kayak in the water. And it was so pretty that I went back again and again mm -hmm. and again to the point where I started dragging all my studio supplies down there and trying to capture this one little space. So you painted there? No. No, I didn't. Okay. But I did. I did. I painted small stuff there. I made a lot of sketches there. Gotcha. I took video footage there. So this particular time of day and at the lake, it was, the water was really low. It was early mm -hmm. spring. So it was right in the tree line. But since the tree line is usually underwater, the whole floor of the forest at that point was dirt. Mm-hmm. But it was bright springtime sun, so yeah. it, it was one of those magical places. Sure, and you, but you felt it. Yeah, I so felt it's, it. So it's a feeling, and and that's all it took. It's all you needed to know. Right. You had the honey hole feeling. I did. It was <laughs> it was love at first sight. So. Oh, now what <laughs> was it? Pleasant Hill. What part? Of, or is it? Do you not want to tell? Was it a secret? It's it's not, but I. I'm going to mispronounce. I actually saved the location on my maps and my phone. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all good. I'll, I'll tell you later. Right, I'll thanks. show you maybe, maybe. I'll know the secret passcode to, <laughs> to the honey hole. Exactly. So uh, how big is it? What's the size for this one? This one is it's about the same. It's about uh, four it seem, feet. It seems bigger than the last one. Maybe is it the wooden frame that makes it look bigger? I think so. Yeah. It, it's a little bigger, but about the same size as the last one. So what's that white? What's that white right there? Just it's curious. water. So there's like a wave, like yeah. a crashing. That's yeah. the crash. So the water's coming from right to left. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, because Arker Butler, they, they open up the dam at certain times of the year and they basically empty it out, right? Uh, yeah, they yeah. use the dam to... Yeah. No, I mean, if you go to the Pleasant Hill Boat Launch, then you could walk across one of the sections, you know, if you wanted to. 
It's, it's weird how they do that, but um, it was really pretty. The wind was blowing. There's a bit. There's a bunch of boats. Yeah. Wasn't by that day, so the waves kept lapping into the mm, shore, you know, yeah. the tree line. Yeah. And, but I was really interested in the look of the trees, the the gesture. They looked human. Mm-hmm. They didn't have any leaves on them, so. Um, like arms sticking out. Yeah, yeah, they're they're really interesting. So when I built this piece, obviously it doesn't look like it's not naturalistic. Okay. The colors are not naturalistic. It, mm-hmm. It's hard to tell what it is at first because it's it's very abstract. Mm-hmm. But my motivation was to show the movement inside the place. So the wave crashing, yep. the lines coming across the painting, the trees going up. Yeah, I like I like the trees coming out of the water. And the lakes here are brown. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of little particles in them. Um, so for the color of this, I, I wanted to humanize it in a way. And it's painted with flesh tones, okay. like layers and layers of flesh tones over a really bright underpainting. So if you look close, you can see a lot of blues and pinks coming through. But... I guess I kind of thought of it like a skin. I wanted to cloak cloak the painting with that fleshy skin, but also kind of speak to That's interesting. The muddy water. It's interesting you're connecting it to the human body. I, I it's a a theme for sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. I think it's beautiful. Thank you. I really like it. I like that I know that it's Arker Butler and uh maybe I'll know where the honey hole is. <laughs> um, I might show you. So for I do want to say for this, I did a lot of sketching in the studio prior to making this. I mean, big sketching. So I have this huge roll of craft paper mm-hmm. from Home Depot that I can tape to the wall. And I really wanted to get my whole body into it, which is why I like to work big like this sometimes because it feels different than working small with a bunch mm. of tiny paintbrushes. If you draw with your whole arm, mm. you know, reaching up, um, you get a different sensation in the work than interesting than if you would just yeah, you know, you never think it. of that as an artist. You're also feeling the activity, the actual yeah. action you're taking to do it. That's really cool to know. Because with the, especially, I'm sure because I know you've done murals, right? Mm-hmm. Or you've done one here that I know of. You know, literally broad strokes, right? Does that is it? Where does that put you, like emotionally, or or does it relax you to to have that big of a canvas? Well, I think it just feels good to get physical with mm, whatever yeah. you're making. Yeah, yeah. And as a musician you know that music can put you into a certain mood. Um, It's why people dance. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to think of, you know, making these strokes like dancing or putting on a song and that can come through whatever you're making. The presence that you're feeling at the moment can, can show through in the marks that you make on a canvas. Absolutely. If you're in a good mood and you just, Flicking the hand, and, uh, and I'm always going to apologize for my lack of terminology. Here. Like I said, I bring the dumb to the room here. That's okay. why I'm asking dumb questions. But hey, I'm curious, right? Um, but uh, yeah, that's I can see that you just you, again, it's all about you connecting to it, and your personality is in all of it. So that's great. Getting getting your presence into mm-hmm. the piece, yep, giving it that feel. Yeah.